So this is how we do. I'll, I'll create a new using by saying Microsoft Access. I'll open it. Then what I want to do, I need to list them. So I will say Notepad. This is how I do. Notepad. That is Notepad. So that I list the item that I have done. What we want to do now is a sales app. We call it sales app or inventory app or whatever. Just whichever one we we'll call it. This what we are going to do. And so the first thing we are going to create is tables. Tables. And inside the table, we are going to create what I want to do. We need here. We need the product table. We need the product table. We need the category table, category of products. We need the category of products. We need the vendor who supplies the product. We need the customer who buy the product. We need the purchases. Purchases or other products. We need the uh, sales product. Now, since it's table we are building, there it should be we should be real. In everywhere we have a purchase table, we have purchase details. Call it poor details. Huh? Then where we have sales, we have Sales detail. Mm -hmm. Then we have return. Return in word. Return in. I will also have return out. These are what we need to perform on the table. These are the tables we are going to build. So we is after we are built done with these tables that we will now say, okay, uh, let's build a query for them. Because the query is where we do the manipulations that join one table to the other to form another data to give us another result or whatever. You know, to also to modify. A table or modify a record or modify many records. So, having seen this one now, we know that the list of them that we use, first of all, let's create the, the table, the, the app. The app is going to be called, let's just call it, let's call our app Sales DB. Yeah? Let's call it. Sales DB is going to be the name of our app. So I'll copy it. My access is already open down. And like I told you before, we are going to use blank database. So I'll click on this is blank desktop database. This is blank or custom web app. That's custom web database. Designer. We already have some templates there. That will be some application for you by default. But the applications will just be general without this, unless you want to start to customize them. But if you are customizing them, it is good for somebody who has not known anything to use it to know uh, how the app looks like. Because if you build both the table, the query, the form, the report, we will build all of them for you together at a brief. Just within about uh, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, it has built the whole application for you. It is a built in uh, this is. So you can see this one now is asset tracking. So build asset. This one is contact. So build contact. This one is to build students for you. So now you that have been looking for work, you can use all the build students. Then this one is event management to manage the event, like all those rent age, all those uh, all rent age and all the rest. You know this kind of thing. We have task management. 
you have some tasks, we help you to manage your task and then you can record tasks, you can know which one you are feeling. Like you are doing a milestone, you are doing a milestone for a project, you can be checking out the one you have done. Then notification tracking. Have, apart from that one, we have plenty of templates there. We have this one as charitable contribution. That's contribution like a charity. Then we have call tracker. As calls are coming in, you'll be tracking them like as if your phone book. That's all now. So you can be tracking and tell you how many minutes that call lasted, who you called, and all the rest. So customer service. These are other things. Then home inventory. Take inventory of all the items you have you at home and everything. Then inventory proper. You can see inventory proper here. We have lending library, like book lending. We have personal account ledger. We have a time card for those who are coming to work. You know, uh, so you can see that there are built in things there that are good. Then we have personal contact manager. We have um, time and billing. Uh, this year. time and billing. This one would good for something like um, rentage, hotels, and other rest. It is something. Like so we have um, vehicle uh, maintenance. Anyway, it depends on the Microsoft assets you are using. This Microsoft assets, that's why it has a little. And because I'm online, because I'm on internet, that's why it's open all the templates for me. Yes, there are still many templates online also. That uh, you can download or whatever. Bug tracking. Then uh, this one is real estate. This one is desktop. Desktop. Oh, desktop from. Okay, this one is just of how to calculate age. Mm -hmm. So you can use them actually learn. This one is just of how to synchronize uh, combo buses. How to sync combo buses from one to the other. That's all now. Then, this is desktop business account ledger. Then, this is also, which are the final one. This one is not wind. Not wind is always a built in uh, database in Microsoft Access and SQL. Then, issue tracking. Then, marketing projects. Management. So that's what uh, we can, you have, you find there. But because we want to start from scratch, we will build, we will click on this to build a blank database. You know, as of all, we want to build it. I, I would like to put it on the desktop. So I'll give it a name. My own name will be this app. Where do I want to put it? I'll click it. By default, if you go to uh, 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 Eh? Eh, says the database. Says DB. So if you put it on documents by default, but I don't want document. I want because this is the demo this thing. I want it to be on desktop where we can easily access it. So I'll click on desktop there and click here to save it. Look at the format is saving it. We have different formats you can save it at. We have the format for 2002 to 2003 format. We have 2000 format, we have uh, 2007 to 2016 format. Because the correct one is 2016, so it's speaking from 2007 to 2016. Yes, now. If you build it on this earlier version, meaning there are many features that will be hidden for you that will not be missing. But this 2007 to 2016 will give you the reset feature. But what it means is that the one, the application we are going to build cannot work in any Microsoft assets that is made than 2007. That's, that's what that's what all just what it means. And moreover, you know that Microsoft has done away with all those ones. Even 2007, I don't think it's in both again. Even 2010, those some systems 2010, but, uh, 
So we, we, we leave it at default, 2007, Microsoft Access 2007 to 2016. So I will click OK. So it has set it to the desktop for us. So we will now click Create. I will click Create. It will create a blank database with a blank table. Yes. You don't want to Okay, you see the camera is showing us. Eh? That's why you see the camera is on. It's showing us, and uh, uh, look at it. Look at it. Eh? It's recording. Eh? Oh, you don't want it to record? Yeah. You, you, be, you believe that now? Yeah? Okay. So, like I told you before, I said this is a, a data sheet a table. You can create from here directly. So, we'll create the first one from this. Place. We'll go to the uh, other area to go and create. But before we go ahead there, like I have shown you before, this is called the menu bar. You can see a dashboard, which is called the menu bar. You can see the menus there. We have files. Home, create, external data, uh, uh, database tools, uh, fields, table. Does that now? Depending on the object you are opening, that will matter what uh, will come up. You can see that inside this one now, there's nothing like design. But when we open the uh, table now, the working on the table, it will open design for us. When we open form, it will open design for us. Another this like that. You know, like that. but for now, look at the people that you open. Field is because we are opening this data sheet. That's why it's coming with fields. And if you give me the option of what kind of field you want, you see the data type that you need to use are all there. So let's start with this one. We click here and say, okay, this one is already on number. It's already on number. Uh, we leave it like that by default. But we can right click like this and say rename field. Hmm? Rename field. So we are going to call this one category. Category ID. That's right now. Which means the next one we are going to click now. We we'll select the type of field. Going to be. That one is auto number by default. So we we'll click the next one. The next one is going to be what? Is it number? Is it currency? Is it yes or no? Is it rich test? Is it long test? Or we will use rich test, which is the short test. You always see. Long test, short test. Yeah? Okay, okay, this one is rich test. This one is rich test, like maybe a test that has format like this. Is. Okay, this is short test here. Uh, so this one is rich test. Rich test has to do with something like um, like word pad. Uh, this is tests that are not just ordinary uh, test format like uh, like notepad. Sorry that I'm, uh, I'm giving you that. Um, uh, uh, so we have an attachment there. We have a hyperlink there, and I've shown you hyperlink for hyperlink is to link to link to uh, another uh, object. We, know, we did that one in HTML when we're looking. So it's also have it here. We have calculated fee. That's right now. If you calculate them, whatever one you want to calculate, we have paste in, paste as field. Hmm? But okay, so let's go with short test. The short test, you ask us feed name. What are we going to use as feed name? We we'll say category. Category name. Or we'll just call it category. That's right now. So we are done with this. This is all we need. Then, since we are done with this one now, uh, we will click on save. So we ask us what we want to save the table. As. We are going to save the table as category. Hmm? Okay, let's just call it category. Let's identify category T B for table. Uh, you can see that I make them all of them. Uh, one more together. 
and I click OK. I have done with that one. So I now click here. I want to put ABC. So like I just I will say put categories because I want to start putting into there. Categories one is laptop, two is there and desktop. Three is phones. Phones. Four is accessories. Inside accessories, we have battery, whatever, whatever you can think of. Then five is software. Mm -hmm. So let's be let's be done with this one. I have a reason why we are filling this in down into by this. So we are done. To close it. Let's look at what we have uh, done in, uh, in design view. We'll go to design view. And we can see that it only has two this category ID and category name. And it has put category ID is a primary key, which is incremental, long integer incremental. And uh, what is mean by incremental is that every time you have record the record. It automatically puts a, a, a number there, number one. Then the next one, you record the next one. Because one is already existing, if you put number two. If you like, delete number one. If you not come back and read and read number one again, if you continue with number two. Because in his own memory, he has already recorded number one. So you cannot come back to that number again. It's unchangeable. So we now understand that one. Like I told you in my own format, I always want them to be on there. And, uh, I go to the category name, I also put it on there. The category name is, is test this. So let's just put this one as category 15 maximum. Uh, this is default value. If I want the default value to be appeared in any time I want to change you know, the same, but there's no need to put a default value on this one. Default value are only good in this one. Then index, yes, let's put it, let's see the index. Index. Duplicate, okay. That is it allowed. Duplicate is allowed. But moreover, let's say duplicate no. In this, no duplicate. Because category is not supposed to have double category of the same name. It's not supposed to have the same. That's what it means. So let me let me okay, let me just show you now. Let me show you what it means by that. Yes. Yes. Now you can see this one now. Let's come here and put the next uh, listen. Let's put uh, laptop. Laptop. You see what you say? The changes require the changes requested to the table were not successful. Why? Even though you have already included six there, we're not successful because they will create duplicates, duplicate value in the index. The now primary key in the index, primary key or relationship. Change the data in the field or fields that contain duplicate data. Remove the index or redefine the index to permit duplicate entries and try again. This is this now. You hear the story when it's telling you that this place that you will put there, even though it's already number six before, so it will not take it. So let's uh, leave it off. You see that it has changed it to uh, new. It has moved that six. But let's put another thing again there. Let's put um, um, let's put a uh, office. Mouse is also this one. Uh, it's also an assessment. So let's say office automation. You see that it's as gone to how far I can go. Eh? So, it's not allowing more than 15 characters. 
because that's what I said it to. So let's just put automation. Automation. The view of, of that what happened. I put it finish. Moment I put it, what happened? No, that's not the thing I want you to see. I want you to see that this one is seven automatically. Because it has recorded six. Even when I, I, I click cancel, 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 it has recorded six in, in tone two. You see, it's not, it, it cannot get six again. Is that now? It came back to seven. So, are you enjoying this one? Are you seeing the, the beauty of it? Automa auto auto automation, how you clean it. So, we are done with this one now. It's automatically saved. Is that now? If you want to that way, let's open it and save it. It's automatically saved. Okay. If it's um, SPL, SPL will have to, you have to commit SPL, you have to tell it to save, to save. But this one, it's automatic. Because it is simple database engine. Unless it, is not, it has not been posted yet. If it has been posted with the book, it will save automatically. So we are creating the next one. So this time I will click on create. I will go to uh, table design. And this time we are going to create product ID auto product name. Product name, short key, category ID, category, let's just put the category, look up, look up, next, it's only uh, this we have there. So uh, you see what I choose? I didn't choose, I want to type it myself. I choose, I want to, what? I want to look up field. Okay, so that's what I do, because I'm looking for a place to get it. And it showed me the available table. It's only one table that's available. If you can even show you some that table and query together. So I need this one, and I click on this one. And then I will select both of them. By double clicking it, or by clicking this one, look by, one by one, if you select them one by one. If I double click, if I click on this place once, if you carry all of them, go there. But if I come here and start clicking on it myself, it will go. You see now? Whichever way I put them. If I want to return them there, I can return them one by one. Or I can return both of them with this one. I can also return them again with this. You see now? I can return them with this. All of that one. I can return them back. So you can understand the simplicity of it. It just what you see is what you get. So now I come here. This is order by, I want it to select by category name. Because if I leave it ordinarily, it will select by ID, meaning that the way I record it, that's how it will select it. But I say category name. So in other words, it will start with me, all those categories that start with the first half of the day. That's how it's going to go in ascending order. So I'll make this one wider for me to see all the items. Fair enough. You can see that you now put them, not the way I recorded them. You put them, accessory first, automation second, in other, I think, desktop third, laptop fourth, post five, uh, software six. In alphabetical order. So I, I click them and I click finish. So you ask me to save this table. So this table is called product table. Product T B. If you ask me to save the, the primary key because primary key you knows that there's a primary key there. So put the primary key there. There's a primary uh, the table that has the potential of having the primary key. So I'll just click yes, and it has put the primary key here automatically for us. So, um, 
like our mana is. I will set them. It's because you say we should save you. It's not that we are done with this table. We are not done with this table. We have put category already. We have put product name. Then we need to put quantity. Qty for quantity. Eh? And quantity is going to be what? Number. Eh? Uh, the number is going to be what? Let's leave it. Let's not do any design, any this one. It's just a simple quantity number. If we want it so that the number can be uh, uh, one point zero six, it's only in, in figure in, in, in money that we, we need those ones for. So we need this one like that. We we'll come to cost price. Cost price. We we'll put it in number. I told you this why we should put it in number because. It makes it easy for us. Now, if you put currency, we're going to put dollar for you. But we want this one to be a universal one. So uh, we just put in other number and we double click on the field size. And how what is the size of the field? Now, this size of the field matters a lot. What it means is that the, the amount of data that they can receive, the way it found everything that they can receive. The same now. But I will give you that one. To go and research that one as an assignment of how many data it will take for a single uh, this one. a single we have begin from bytes bytes let me give you an idea a byte will just take four yeah because a bit will be one one single uh, Digit. Then a byte is four. You see now that is four bits to make up bytes. Then integer. Um, integer is also then okay. I'm online. Let's just look at it online and see the uh, size of a, of a byte. Field size for bytes. A byte, okay, so zero to two fifty five. Mm -hmm. Integer is minus thirty two. That's in other words, this byte would be 256 characters. That's what that means because you add it plus this zero, the first index, you know, making uh, 256 characters a byte. Then an integer from minus 32, minus 3 to, because this is already in negative form, you don't have to pronounce it, minus 3 to uh, 768 to 32,767. Hmm? The number, the, the field size, what it can take. The size of it, the size of what the, uh, the, the data it can contain. And the, what, what the, the value, the value of it can uh, take the value. Now, it says long integer will take about minus 2, 147, 483. Blah 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 to this unit. So about two billion one forty seven four eighty three six forty seven. Then single positive or negative number up to thirty eight zeros and seven decimal places. Hmm? So you can see you can get uh, uh, this one. you can see here it's even asking us what this they are already asking the question what is field size field size means the 
dimension along the major axis of an area in a plane perpendicular to the central axis of the useful beam of incident radiation at a normal treatment distance and defined by the intersection of the major axis and the 50% uh, isodose iso line. These are just grammar anyway. That's not what we are, that's not what we are actually looking for. What is a field size in access? He said for numbers fields, this field size determines exactly how much field space access uses for each value of the field. Does it make it simple now? It in access, it determines exactly how much this space access uses for each value of the field. Hmm? How much this space is going to use? The data, the data uh, band that is going to use there. He said for test field, the field size determines the maximum amount of this space that access allow for each value of the field. So that if you are making it very long, it consume more uh, this is for each value of a test of a figure. Is that now? It needs to convert it like that byte. Byte will be 0 to 255, meaning that if you convert it, whatever is right there will be approximated to maximum of two disease uh, character. The character that you need. Remember, these characters are in binary disease, zeros and one digit. If you make it byte, what uh, the size is going to be? He said, now this is this, I don't want to go too much. He said, what is the uh, piece size for date? He said, date time contains a value date from January 1, 0001 to December 31st, 9999. That's the value, uh, the date time will contain in Sana. That's the description. Same size. SQL server, 8 bytes. Eh? SQL server, 8 bytes. But uh, uh, this was a date time, old style, contains both a date and a time value. The date can be from January 1, 1970 to January 18, 2038. The time is stored in one second increment, four bytes. Is that enough? Four bytes. So, uh, this one, database feed, database feed data type, IBM. I then give that, uh, uh, this is. How do I find the feed size of a field? How do I find the size of a field in access? In access. Launch Microsoft Access on the navigation pane on the left. Click the table that contains the field size you want to change. Then click View on the Home tab and select Design View on the table Design View and select the field for which you want to change the field size. Blah, blah, blah. That's what we just we're just doing now. It's now. So anyway. That's uh, all for that one. It's just for exercise sake. So in other words, here we will choose not single, but we will choose double. Yeah? For this thing. And I told you before, we will use standard. Okay, let's not use standard. Let's see how it's going to look like. Yeah? And just Put the decimal figure to be two. Let's leave that as default value is zero. Then let's do the same thing again for uh, this thing. Copy it, Control C. 
paste it here onto B and change this one to sales price or unit price. Unit price. Mm -hmm. uh, so it contains all the properties like uh, the other one is eternal. So um, mm -hmm. no, return income. Let's see. We are done with this one. So let's look at the feeds in the data sheet. So the data sheet, let's choose the first one, category. Let's select the category of laptop. And you can see that it's just writing zero, zero. Even in cost price zero, even if this is zero, even this one, that's what it is. So let's choose this one now. Let's choose the first one. And says um, laptop HP HP Pro Book Pro Book G for the five uh, Intel. Or I five. Is that now? Uh, let's leave all the other stories there. Uh, laptop quantity. You see, twelve. Uh, cost price. Let's put cost price as. Um, let's put cost price as. One seventy eight thousand. Yeah. So for single selling price, let's put it at. Uh, I only put that one because you can't see anyone for that price. Let's put this selling price at one eighty five. Thousand. Go to the next. You can see that you don't put it number like a normal figure. The same is now. You don't put it as a normal figure until we come and decide to change a listing. Let's come here and um, okay, let's change this one first. General to next and put this one standard. Standard. See, I'm, you don't have general number uh, this one, which is standard then this one standard left so can you see now that he has adjust them I put the comma who left it as you leave it no comma not much, but now it now has arranged them by itself, a put comma, a put dot zero zero. Hmm? So, uh, we are done with this one now. We'll go to the next one. What is the next point of call? Vendor. So, we'll come again, create. We we'll use one table to create two. So we can say vendor ID. Uh, vendor name. Vendor name. This uh, company. Because a vendor must have a company also. Company. Eh? Eh? Company. 
Uh, okay, company name. Uh, contact address. Contact ad. address. Long test. Mm. Phone number. Phone number. Short test. Uh, phone number two. Short test. Email. Email at short test. Um, vendor accounts. Vendor ECC. Number. And that number has to do with double standard two. As you are building, it will be increasing. It will be increasing more, more. It's endless. It's just like a Z. Then I want to use the name to be in this eh? company to be in this. It should be easily searchable. Then uh, maybe phone number it should be in this because I will need to use phone number to search for it or something. Uh, phone number two. To be in this email if I'm searching for email let's maybe also be in this that's all I need to be in this then I'll just uh, I'll make this some primary primary key and I'll save Vendor T B. Hmm? I don't, I'll save it as vendor TV. Now I'll come here and copy. Copy and paste. It's asking whether I want to save it as copy of vendor TV. I don't know. I want to save it as customer TV. Customer TV. Search your own name. There's, there's no data there now. So the customer TV, I will now I click it and go to uh, this. Thing. Because you see, I'm, I'm having these uh, features of customer, I'll change this one to uh, of, of vendor. Customer. I just copy the, I just right click and copy it and move outside anywhere as it is. So it was now, you wanted to save it as copy of, of uh, this thing. Uh, so I, I said no, you should not uh, rename it. Customer name. Customer does not have company. When I get a new consignment, my wife said that I contact me, contact me, email address, vendor accounts, customer accounts. Every other thing is correct by my, by my estimation, by my. Are you enjoying it?
Do I give you to do? Huh? The thing is that let me do more, then uh, you you will not do because I don't know how proficient you will be. But I know you can't do it. I've done this is I've done product category vendor customer. Uh, we have a uh, purchases and purchases details. I will do that one. Then you will do uh, you will do two. You will do sales and sales details. Eh? Yeah? That's what I will just do. I need mean, for you to also practice. So what I just do is like now, if I will like click, if you see be there. If I say save, it will keep come with that same thing because it's already saved in the memory. How did that do? What, what did that do? I just right click on it. I do here. I say copy. I just say copy. Return on. Copy. And I come in, I come outside and right click and say paste. So I rename this one. And if there are data there, if there's already information there, you don't want to save it with the information that are there. You just say structure only. Uh, but if you say uh, if you say append data to existing table, uh, append append to an existing table. Uh, if you ask which table, but you say now uh, if I say append data, I look at append data. If you ask me which table, so uh, let us like uh, like this. You see, the this is that it's not telling me. What did he say? Microsoft Access Database Engine could not find a uh, object copy of this thing. Because as if he applied to it, it will ask me which table. He couldn't find any object without this thing. But if I now say, okay, no, make it uh, uh, make it customer. Customer TV. You already knew that customer TV is there. There is the data here. It says, it says Microsoft Access Engine could not find the object customer TV. Oh, okay, I give you customer TV. I do um, twice. I do arrow twice. So let's see this. Thing. I just want to use the field, field vendor ID doesn't exist in the destination TV on a customer customer return. Vendor ID does not exist. That's what you see. So moreover, I made mistake in this one to so save it as uh, this. One. So I'll go to the name. The name is just to press F2. I'll just click on it and press F and I can rename it. I'll just move that. So it's not correct. Hmm? So I said I want to create the next one, sales, uh, purchases. So I'll go to table design and what do I need to create? Purchases. So it's going to be purchase ID. Purchase ID. Mm -hmm. Auto. Then, um, if it's purchase ID, it has to be four dates. Purchase dates. Which has to be date time. Mm -hmm. And the date time, I would like to save the date time to only give us day. Okay, let's leave it day and time. It's not a, a problem. So I'll leave it, which means I will change the field type here. Look at it here. Which option do you have? Because you have this here. You have sun, uh, Thursday, November 12, 2015. That's the format like that. And the other one, that's long date. Short, medium is 12 November 2015. Then short date. Is 11 12 2015 the same thing? Long time, this is the time. Hmm? Medium time, 
listen. Uh, okay, this is this one. I've given us this one now. Let's use this is general time. Let's use general time so that instead of creating the, the table repeating twice, let's use general time. And then when we're using general time, even if we didn't put general time, it is automatically choose that one by itself. Okay? So the next one now we look at for change date. Let's leave it around. Let's go to default value. I told you yesterday, put now, meaning that it will be saving the current time. Now, is somebody following me? It's only so if you we have a short time to go. And uh, then, uh, purchase date. Then, when we do purchase date, we need to put. Um, what is the next vendor? Vendor and the vendor has to choose from a look up wizard. Let's select the vendor from the look up wizard. We didn't have anything, we didn't feel anything on vendor, but we still go to vendor TV where we select and we select vendor ID, um, vendor company. We're interested in the company. The name can be any, they can change anybody, anybody to be the name. Okay, let's do, let's also add the name with it. Let's also add the name to with it. Anytime we're selecting, we want to see both name, the, the name and the company. But the company will come up first before the name. And so we do that this. We say select by company. And then after company, select by name. Order by company and name. So you can see that if you hide the uh, ID and give us if you hide the ID and give us the name. So and give us the company name and the vendors. Uh, so he asked us to save it to so say purchases. Purchases T B. And I save it and put this in there. So vendor uh, name. I would also like to have. I don't need vendor accounts, uh, vendors and vendors and yes. Now I've shown this one yesterday. Now the lookup is, is the number, is the ID of the vendor that is picking from. So that's why it is a number. Look at it here. Let's come here and come to lookup. You will see that it's a combo bus, and the combo bus is selecting. The whole of the one I say you select. Select vendor TV dot vendor ID. Vendor table, this is the vendor field, vendor ID. Vendor TV dot ven, uh, company name. Vendor TV dot vendor name. From vendor TV, order by company name and uh, vendor name. Now, you now say band column one. Band column is one, which is the ID. That's why it's, it's only the thing that is banned to. So anything you like, type it, it that's what it's banned to. Then you say, uh, column count three. You go count three columns. Three places, three fields. It's going to count. Then it now said, column, uh, column head, no. If we put column head, meaning that if you indicate the, the each column there, it indicates the column head. We have to fill this and say, okay, this one is uh, uh, vendor name, or this is vendor, uh, this, you know, uh, how to say this. One. Then it now tells us the column width. How is it going to appear? The first one is zero inch. Eh? Zero inch, meaning that it's not going to appear. It will be hidden. That's what it means by zero inch. The next one is 1.6771 inch. Eh? That is this 
which we will take here. The second one, 1.6875. That's this thing. Then, list row 16. The row that this is. How many rows that you can list? Maximum 16. Then after 16, if the list continues, you're going to give you room to drag them down. That's you're going to drag them as you were showing me this one. Say, why this one? When I see this, that's how it's going to show you. So now, then it now says, uh, list width. This is the width. Calculate this width now. It should be the same size with this, this and this together. That's what this is. But you can increase the width more than that. You can increase the width to be more than this. Is that now? Then, let's just make the width. Instead of uh, 3 point uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's make it 4. Let's just make it 4. If you take 4. Is that now? And it now gives us in. Limits to list, yes. Allow multiple value, no. Allow multiple value, no. Can we select two vendors at the same time? Designer, that's allow multiple value. Uh, no, you want to make sale, you want to make this sale. Let it be only one vendor at the time where we're dealing with. We will deal with what it brings come only one vendor. Enter all things so that his account will be credited. You can deal with only one customer so that his account will be built. That's additional. Then we have a, a allow value list edit. Yes, we can edit the value. Uh, list item edit form is asking if you have this in, you click on this in, and put the list edit, edit form that you are going to use. Show only rows source. Show only rows source. No. So that's this thing. As time goes on, you'll be understanding it. We won't dwell on it this one forever. But it's very simple. It's very simple to view. view with. Hmm. Okay, Jerry. It, it, it are very simple to deal with. Hmm. So we have put vendor, we have put date and time, we have put uh, this in. um ID. What else do we need? We don't need anything again. We don't need anything again because it's what uh, we don't need anything again. So well, this is the main purchase table. So let's save it. Let's update this one. Now, after update this one, we'll come to the next one, create again. This create again, we are going to create another table. This table is going to be called um, for purchase for details. For detail ID, purchase detail ID. Eh? It's going to be auto number also. So it's going to be identical on its own. Then purchase detail. Purchase. Purchase. Okay, purchase ID. Is that now? Because do we have purchase ID here? We have purchase ID complete, Abby. So we are going to use this one. It's going to be a lookup. You will need that this in, to link up uh, this in there. So we're going to use it as purchase ID. I will use it as a lookup wizard. Is that now? We look for this thing. Where is purchase TV? It's asking us which this is. The other thing we need there is just the purchase. We don't need any other thing more. Is that now? So we don't need to say uh, it should be ascending or this thing. Just this thing. So you see how we put question mark there. Do you know the reason why I put question mark there? Huh? The reason behind this is that he's not seeing anything there and the table is still open there. Hmm? So it doesn't matter to us. If you ask us to save it now. Yes, save it. What are you going to save it as? For details. TV. Eh? Save. Yes. So we have saved this one now, but we are going to go more. So we have just put purchase detail. We need to put 
product ID. The product we are going to be selling or we are going to be buying. Product ID is also a lookup. You can put as many lookup or lookup you want. So we we'll say product ID. Do I put up there? I'm not seeing it. Okay, this is. So we we'll look at this one and take product and product name. So we're going to make it by product name. So it's showing us the name of the item. Eh? Uh -huh. So um, we save this. It has saved it also. We have already product name. Hmm? Then, what else do we need? We actually do not need date because date is already on the this is that is not the Or we need um, quantity. We don't need vendor because vendor is already on the business. We need quantity. Quantity with purchase. The sign now is going to be in number. Quantity with purchase is going to be in number. So we are not going to make it standard. So now, now that we're going to do all this uh, other frivolous, we just leave it around. Quantity is a number, it's not uh, this thing. Then we can say the amount we purchase them. Hmm? This is where we entry in cost price. Cost price is going to be a number. And so it's going to be in double. It's going to be a standard. It's going to be Q. Huh? I'm just using Shakara to make this one so that it's easy. Amount. We're going to use amounts. It costs. It, 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 it contains. Amounts. So two amounts. Huh? Total amount of the item. If we buy total quantity as total price, it will give us total amount. So here we're going to use what calculated field. Calculated. So it's going to give us option. How do you want to calculate it? Let's go to um, purchase TB. Okay, purchase detail TB. Eh? I will say, yes, instead of purchase detail TB, uh, give us okay, okay, we have to save first the sermon. So we have to save first. So let's remove this one and save because it's not seen. Uh, cost price and selling price. I mean, cost price. So, so we we'll now say total amounts AMT. Total AMT calculated. And so this one. So you can see that it has come up now. Showing us this. So, what we need is cost price. How do we get times? Shift eight to give us asterisk. Eh? Times two quantity, two yt. It will be automatic. So, so we're going to make it like that. It says equals cost price times quantity. So uh, you can see it is already do the expression here. Cost price times quantity. So result type. What result type do we want here? 
we want a, a double and it has to be a uh, format standard or to listen to this one that's so we have just done the purchases and the business now. Then there are some program we will write on it so that it automatically uh, change this thing. So let me just write one program. I will just say a quantity. Um, okay, let's write it on a on a this is product. Product TV. I'll go to product TV and open it in data sheet and I will say um where is it? Quantity. I don't want quantity to be always be in error. I mean, see somebody will, will, will just click on it and type and dash the thing that is there. So what I will do is that I will go to field type, field, 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 or table. Okay, table type. I go to table and I will say before change. Eh? Before change, a little before change, after insert. Okay, before it change, that's before change. I, yeah. I click on before change. I will create uh, this. One. I hope this one is not confusing you. So I will create before change. I will say before it change, I will say. Uh, uh, um, where do I have it? I'm not seeing them very clear. I will say set field. Set field before I change. Name of field. I will say the name of the field is going to be quantity. Qty. Qty. Eh? Um, I hope I still know that uh, required feed required value is zero. Mm -hmm. Say, um, no, 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 I'm writing rubbish here. I'm writing rubbish here. I have to put a condition for that first. I'll put it first. I'll say if. If uh, QTY okay, if is empty, if is empty, is that now? I'll put QTY. If it is empty, or if it is empty, okay, if it's empty, you cannot put the same thing here. If it's empty, add an action. What action do I want you to add? It should set a value. It should set a field. Which field? Qty, we should set Qty because I don't want it to be empty. We should set it to zero. Anytime somebody mistakenly deletes anything there, yes, then and if if it's empty again, if it is uh, uh, null, this around go to put null. If it's null, are you seeing what I'm doing? If it's null, what why this is quantity? If quantity is null, set field. Set a particular field, which field? Quantity. Make sure that anytime the thing becomes null, set the field to zero. So that 
it will not error, it will not show error. So I'll now say save and close. I have actually set a key up for this one. Yes, I know. And uh, after this film, now let's do this. Let's do zero. Yes, I know. You can see the moment I delete it off as I go out, it will change back to zero. I use an issue now. If you mistakenly delete it, that means it will happen more It will change to zero because there must be figure for it to calculate. If not, the uh, this thing. So we can also use the same thing to calculate this field. This field, total amounts. You can use it to calculate this total amounts here by this thing without even actually this thing. Just put a number here. The one I did so is okay, but I'm only trying to tell you that. Okay, let's set this up. This is okay. Okay, it's telling us that we have to calculate the thing because it's already, uh, but we can still do it. Uh, this is let's just try another one here. Say T amounts, amounts. Number eh? and put the number as double standard Q left. So and I'll click save, then I'll click data sheet. When I come to this place, I'll just say table. Um, before change, hmm? set value, set field, which field, T amounts equals, equals, um, I hope you able to see that one, equals QTY, QTY, Times fifteen Y times cost price times cost price. So now let's just try something here. There's no field there. There's no field in this here. So in other words, if product ID it has to be Okay, Uda. Okay, we have product ID now. Product ID one. Then um, quantity is um, quantity is two. Cost price is one seventy five thousand. Hmm. This, this one you can use it earlier. So. Uh, hey, it's good. It's but which one is much faster? I think this one is faster. I mean, so let's delete this one. Because this one is only on uh, before it, 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 it starts. But this one is, is almost instantly. So let's delete this uh, record because it will give us error. I'm sure by this one, you know, this one will be useful. Hmm? Gary, give me a word. Give me a word. You understand this one. 
Y'all know you're enjoying it. Let me know. So now I have actually done this one. I will continue with uh, this is because time don't go. I'll continue with um, return inward later so that I'll give you two now to do your own now and let me return so that we won't just end up this thing. So now close my own. Close my own. Product TV. Close my purchase and do your own. You are going to do sales. Remember, sales has to do with two tables. Sales, uh, sales TV, then sales details. Are you a customer? Is it customer that this thing? I say, if you don't understand, I will open my own book. Is it open customer? Is it open customer? Purchase the table now. Mm -hmm. Sales ID, sales date, and the uh, uh, customer ID. Is that not what I'm supposed to look at? So you always do things you could confuse yourself. Now you can put yourself in confusion. Okay? These are not these are done for you now. Sales date, not before she's <laughs> You don't put chase it. I did you want so that you said you are not in
Vendor. 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 Vendor says. The vendor should come in now. Why should vendor come in? If what is now vendor, say it's now vendor also. It's then Jerry, what is wrong now? It's customer now. I will explain you who go and start. I say vendor, you, you buy from vendor. That is purchasing. So it says you sell to customer. At the table, you do customer name. That's Let's say you don't follow me. That's customer language. Is it not customer? Is it not vendor ID? I do look up. No, no, no. You may know the customer name. Make a command and look and look at the OTP and you go watch the video at home. Customer go day. So when you want to choose customer, how are you are you going to choose from another table? You are going to look up. You are going to do look up and look into customer. You pick from customer, uh, customer, let me see, customer look up, look up, you pick ID, customer ID and his name. Let me say you know you follow me at all now. That's the decision. You just say okay, okay. Oh, after I do, I do and finish and I stay here, you get my back at the good so After I'm done, I want you to do your so that it won't be that. No, let me do one. You go blast in a back at the good. Yeah? Customer pick. A five year old boy here now. And the teacher will do one. After I teach and I do that, you will see the best you do one. Where did you get that one again? Category. Yeah? I got some of that. I don't know. <laughs> you said, you don't get I pay, pass me. Your own eye pay, pay you pass me. Because I saw two things. I know say customer, you don't get only two. Okay. Okay. Oh, Jerry, if I give you a job, make it good for me. Uh, Mr. Let me see. You go sleep for there. Now, customer ID, they tell the they select, they, they, you see, the select thing. If you are selecting customer ID, then you don't need, if it's ascending by customer, customer ID, then there's no need to select it because automatically it will be choosing that one. I told you in a name. Now, one for you. It's like you are not following, something is disturbing you, no one to let me know. Something is still disturbing you. Your mind is not there here, all this one will be told. Now, make it just pass, make it just pass through, make it just, make it, make it. Make it. But maybe she'll go look at go because time don't go when I go to sleep for them. Make I go see oh yeah, they must say I look at you. I will see the way we say uh, date because I have a type date for you all.
we have created six videos. Thank you. Just press A. You don't need to select. Just press A. When you when you when you just press Tab, you will press A. It automatically select all children. When you press A, it has selected. Come down to the next one. If you guys how to do quick and not waste time. Select the next one, which is Sales uh, ID. Which is going to be a lookup. You know they use this tab. You know like to use tab. Uh, that press a L, type L, O O W O, tab. Tab now. Let me let me where the issue now. You can. No, I pass me. Where I select the uh, sales, uh, this is whatever. Yeah. Only the tab, that's the only the ID is what you need. You don't need any other thing there. Or, or you can even select the customer journal. Wait, you can no, you don't need to select customer. Okay. Customer. Yes. But you don't actually need customer because he's not picking customer then. He in the pick from somewhere else. Now only number is give you. Forget about that one. You don't need this thing. number is big. So you don't need. Finish. We are select the other. We are not done. So hold on. Yeah. Hey, see me. Select product ID, create product into here because it's going to open. Tab L double O. I say I, I need to be this one. Move your hand. Move to this person. Hold on. Please hold up ID and hold up move. Why you say no need? He has selected product now. If they are selected product name, because if the black say all the two are the top that I know, you go enter. Quantity. 
this one, why did this one? That 2003, yeah, I teach myself this one, this one. Why did 2003, as early as 2003, now I teach myself this one. Oh, somebody will teach me. Some of you will teach me. Give all these other details like that. Just be quick. You want to find two and you can find two and you Now do me quick now. Now number say say this. I don't think it's a number you say M. Or this side. So if you code that you don't see it. You don't click on this template. Click on this subscribe. Or must you click them? Why not click here? Why not click it here? This this one here. And format this one. Have you forget us and format them? Oh, I don't want to waste your time now. If you say I click on once, I will just press L, it will put left. Oh, yeah, go to the next. Do quick now. Do quick. Your own the. We will burn. A month. Number. You reject me to click outside. So when I was supposed to just click, uh, uh, just press tab and press end. Don't worry, very soon I will, I will employ girl to follow. Maybe not that girl will train you because she's, you don't know, want to take her thing because that's when I want you to understand my trauma. That's one now. Put in one place. We will do the other one later. Yeah. Later. Let me just relate this one first. Okay. Do the other one first. You can see that it, we didn't do this, but you already table, you put the table because the way we did it, we did a, a good job. You can see us only in the arrange table, link them. Now only for us to adjust them, we go adjust ourselves. Is that now? The only to adjust, we go adjust in ourselves. Category. Uh, sales table. Need to... Sales detail table. Don't need to relate. Okay, it has relationship with products and also with customer table. Then uh, category. Only one product. Uh, purchases, purchases. It has only one relationship, which is to purchase details. Then uh, 
I don't know what you've been telling me. Okay, that's not the video where they do. Like they make a bag. You can see that purchase this in only related to, which is customer and at the same time purchase details. Then vendor also has the same way. So this one now makes it very, very simple. It makes it very simple. You see now? He has already created the finish. Just that we just need to put more uh, efficiency on it by just saying you should do this, do this, do this. So I just put in FEC because I've just done it already. We're so just adding more uh, pepper and salt to it by saying that the, the table that I already created, it should be more effective. It should cascade. So, so far, so good. I've created a relationship. The system has already created a relationship for me. It's for me to just add one or two things like that. That's just put here. This is. Now, I just click close and ask me whether I want to see our TV. I've just done this. Thing. You, see, you see how simple it is? But your mind never stays here. We still have to drill you small, small time. You know, I say we're going to do exercise when we come. We'll do some exercise. You don't do exercise before. Eh? Exercise, jump or front jump, I don't know, to get yourself, to get so that your mind will grow, flow out of other things where they think. You don't go navy, this is your navy equipment. You don't have a skill. I don't believe. We are, we are done with it now. The only two tables where we will create, where we will come back later, return one and return another. But I know this. But at least we have done this thing. So let me just. Uh, close.